What's up everybody? This is Steve from Claiming Christianity and today I have the top five uh, Bibles, everyday use Bibles, everyday carry EDC if you like that terminology. I'm going to be going through. Uh, this changes from time to time. I've done videos like this in the past and today we're just going to go through my top five and I'm going to give you right up front uh, a little bit of a caveat or or I'm going to jump ahead of myself and say the last two, these aren't in any particular order, but the last two I'm cheating a little bit uh, because it's more than just a, a Bible. And you'll see what I mean if you stay for the last two. So let's jump right into this because this gets asked a lot. Hey, what are your top five Bibles? Uh, for those of you that are familiar with the channel, you know that this one of the things we do here is Bible reviews, showing you references, resources, um, that, that are solid tools and resources that you can use. And so I happen to have a lot of Bibles and I happen to be able to put my hands on and see a lot of Bibles and I use those Bibles. So what does a guy who has a lot of Bibles, what are his top five? And here they are. Um, so again, this is in no particular order. These are not ranked from fifth to best, uh, but I'll give you a little piece of information on each one of them and why they made it into my top five. And I'm sad to say, as I pull up, uh, I don't, I do have the boxes, okay? Um, and there are full reviews on all these Bibles or all these things. And I'll try to drop a list of those reviews down in the description. But the boxes, I do save the boxes. Most of them are in another box and put in storage because I just don't have the room in my little office here. You see, it's crazy crowded. So here's the, here's the first one, and we'll call this number five. But again, there's no ranking order. We'll call this number five, and this is the ESV Topaz by Cambridge. This is in blue goatskin. Uh, this is one of my kind of first premium Bibles. My, I think my very first premium Bible was a Cambridge wide margin um, in the ESV. Uh, but this is the Topaz, and this made this is the Bible that I am currently using and carrying everywhere. Hold on, Steve. Don't you use don't ask the question yet not an actual bible when you wait a minute just hold off on that and we'll get to that in just a minute so as of right now uh some of you know that we just recently um had a church change it was a very difficult thing to do um, but this is the bible that i'm carrying with me to church and reading on a regular basis and this is the cambridge topaz now this is a verse by you're going to notice something here about these uh, this is a verse by verse edition bible it is in, in goatskin leather and i'll tell you this about this particular bible um it, just a quick search just now you can get the nkjv in a, in topaz also cambridge makes the new king james version in topaz and the esv in topaz i do not have the nkjv um, in this edition of the Bible. So I can't tell you if it's exactly the same or not. Uh, this Bible at the moment is about 250. When I bought it, it wasn't quite that expensive. Um, but, uh, it's a really nice Bible. It's well worth the 250. And again, I have full descriptions or a, a full, uh, full reviews. That's not what we're about here today, but I switched back to this Bible um, I really am an ESV guy at heart, but for the last four or five years, I've been going to a church uh, that teaches and preaches out of the New King James Version. Uh, it's, and it's, in my opinion, the NKJV is a solid translation. I grew to know and love it very well. Uh, so I was using that on a regular basis. Um, and I think that it's really solid to have your whole church essentially reading out of one translation. Um, so I switched over to the NKJV, but I'm an ESV guy at heart and, and, and the church I'm going to now, uh, is an ESV church. They teach and preach out of the ESV. So I got to switch back to some of my well-known and well-loved Bibles. And this one made the list. This is the one that I personally am carrying. And the Topaz has a nice big font. If I had to look and guess, uh, just by looking, cause I didn't look at the actual numbers. You're looking at about a 10 point font, which you all know is my magic number. And it's verse by verse. I love verse by verse. Um, so that would be number five, uh, which would be the Cambridge Topaz. I'll drop links uh, for purchase down to Amazon as well down in there. You can get less expensive versions if you don't want the like goat skin leather. You can, for about 200 bucks, it looks like you can get a calf skin. Um, and then for about 150 bucks, you can get like a calf split. All good options. Uh, but that's a really solid Bible. Cambridge has been making Bibles uh, the longest, as a matter of fact, for about 500 years. 
And that's why I'm carrying this is because it's verse by verse, easy for me to read and navigate through. Uh, I like the goat skin and I happen to like blue. That doesn't really matter to me all that much, but it's a bonus, right? So number four, here we go. We're keeping on going. <laughs> There's a, a small story to these two. This is a Bible I recently just reviewed. Um, and this is put out by Crossway. This is the ESV verse by verse reference top grain leather Bible. It runs for about $144, uh, just a quick Amazon search. They always go on sale, by the way, so don't be stuck to the number. But I reviewed this Bible, and I love it. I, and my wife stole my Bible from me. No, she really didn't, because I wasn't using it. She needed an ESV to bring back and forth to church. Uh, we looked at this, and this fits all the things that she likes. First of all, as if you can notice, uh, it's verse by verse. Uh, we're verse by verse fans, especially when I'm taking it to church. The, the one little p caveat to that is if I'm reading... At length, I usually choose not verse by verse. I'll choose paragraph format, even a reader, which doesn't have any numbers um, in it, really, just because it's easier. But for daily use, having verse by verse works really well for me. It works really well for my wife. So this is the Bible she carries on a daily basis. And if she didn't have it, I would have it because it's really, really nice. It's verse by verse. It has references. It's in top grain leather. And for top grain, I'm not going to lie to you, it's pretty floppy and pretty nice. It stays open just the right amount for me. Um, and once again, there is a full uh, full review on all these Bibles. We'll put those down in the description. You guys know I like my raised ribs on the hub here. Um, and there's a really a decent amount of room to, to write in this. Um, you can see about an inch there. It just is really pleasant. Uh, the font is, I think that it's about an eight. It's between an eight and a nine, if I remember correctly. Um, so it's easy to read. The paper quality is really nice. It's in the text that we're currently using, ESV. So that would be the ESV verse by verse reference Bible. Again, I would have shown you the boxes if I had them, but they're in another box somewhere else in top grain leather and for the price for what it's going now for about 144 dollars and it gets less than that uh you know on sale and stuff like that that's it's a great bible it feels good it's it's the right size for everyday use it's not too big it's not too small it's easy to read and it's verse by verse and those fit the bill for us which is why it's one of my top five bibles if you're just tuning in, go back and watch the beginning. Uh, but we're just going through my top five Bibles. And like I said, we're going to save the last two. They're going to be kind of, I'm cheating a little bit on the last two because it's more than just a Bible. But let's go through number three of actual Bibles. Um, this one's still in the case. And there's a reason it's still in the case. I have a couple others of these. Can you see them from here? I don't think you can. My stack is like, oh, right here. See, you can barely see them right there. I have a couple of these that have been rebound. Um, I, I got one of them rebound by Post Tenebrous Lux, and they did a fantastic job. So that's the Bible that I've been carrying around for the last, I think, three or four years is this Bible. And this Bible really is only about 35 bucks. If you look on Amazon and, and you get the, um, what does it call it, uh, the leather soft version here. If you get the leather soft, it's like $35 or $40. And this is a fantastic Bible. That's why I had it rebound. I love it. It's a good size, nice big 10 point font. It's verse by verse. It has the words of Christ in red. It's Smith's own. It's a really nice Bible. So I just bought the inexpensive version of the cover uh, and had it rebound, which jacks the price up quite a bit. Now you can uh, find this Bible in, if, if you wanna pay a little bit more and get it from Thomas Nelson and get like genuine leather. I don't have one of those. I can't speak for the leather quality, but for all the Thomas Nelson Bibles I have right here, uh, they do a good job <laughs> and their covers are really nice and the leather is really nice. So you can jump up to like the 100 or $120 price point on that specific Bible. But this Bible's been around for a long time. NKJV, classic verse-by-verse -verse center column reference Bible. Uh, that's my number three because for the last four years, that's the Bible really that I was carrying around using on a regular basis, using at home, my EDC Bible. All right, number two. This is a little bit of a cheater. Uh, I'm cheating a little bit here, but I have to cheat. So... Number two is two Bibles, and I do not carry them around, but I do use them every single day. And that would be, they're over there on the shelf. I didn't pull them out. Look, right here. 
orange and brown. That's the ESV study Bible and the Reformation study Bible. I use those two study Bibles every day, regularly, all the time. Um, so those are two study Bibles. This isn't a study Bible. This is my top five Bibles that I use on a regular basis every day. And those, those two fit the bill. As I looked around and say, what else could I... All those two are it. I use those Bibles all the time. Uh, I highly recommend those as study Bibles uh, if you're looking for a solid study Bible. And I have a video on top five study Bibles um, that I make also. But I'd be remiss if I didn't mention those two as my number two. So again, the number two of my top five Bibles is really two Bibles, and that's the ESV Study Bible and the Reformation Study Bible. And the reason is because I, I trust the commentary in there. Um, they're easy to use. Uh, and in this guy's opinion, the ESV Study Bible, pound for pound, it is pretty much the best, and this is my opinion, pretty much the best study Bible on the market. I know there's a, a lot of other opinions out there about that that say the same thing. The ESV Study Bible is just a solid biblical tool that has lots of stuff in it that you can use. Um, so I don't think that I'm saying anything that a whole lot of people would disagree with on that. But that would be my top two. So I'm saving my top one for my top one for a reason. Let's go through the five real quick again. Number five was the Cambridge Topaz. That's the Bible I'm currently using and carrying everywhere with me. I love it. Number four is the Bible that my wife uses and I would be using if she didn't steal it from me. Uh, no, <laughs> she saw it and liked it. So of course she gets to have it, um, which is by Crossway. And that is the verse-by-verse -verse reference Bible in top grain leather. Number three is the Bible that I just essentially stopped using recently every day, which is the NKJV Classic Reference verse-by-verse. -verse. Number two was the ESV and the Reformation Study Bible, both of those. And here's my number one, okay? My number one, oh, look, I'll hold it so you can see it, is my iPad. Uh, yes, yes, please feel free to hate on me down in the comments, Okay. So obviously this is not a typical Bible, um, <laughs> but what do you mean, Steve? You're the Bible guy. You don't use it. All right. So here's, here's how it is. In the last six or seven months, I switched over to using Logos Bible software. I use a mix between Logos and Accordance. In Accordance, I have quite a few resources that I do use on a regular basis. But as far as reading the Bible every day, um, taking notes, and uh, using the resources that I have, I do that in Logos because I can do it on my phone, on my iPad, on my computer. I, I do have a video that talks a little bit about the differences between these digital softwares. And I have come to know and love Logos. I use that on a regular basis. Like I said, my everyday readings typically happen in Logos. Um, I can take notes. I take copious amounts of notes that don't take up space in my Bible, uh, that aren't papers that I have to wedge in between the margin. They're just there that I can click on and access at any time. I have all the different translations. Typically when I'm studying, I have ESV, NKJV. I'll even throw the NIV in there. Um, and sometimes the NET, those are all right there, right next to each other so I can compare verses. And it's really easy and simple to use. Now, the reason that I left that to the first is because in reality, that's what I use the most is digital software. As far as Logos comes, they didn't give me a whole lot to say, oh, Steve, you got to pay a lot of money for Logos. You do got to pay a lot of money of Logos. Guess how much I've paid for Logos? Zero dollars. And it's not because, well, that's not true. I'm going to tell you what I have paid. But you can download the basic software for free and start using a couple. I think the LSB is free, if I remember correctly, and the ESV. If you want to download a Bible, like a translation, uh, you can pay like 10 bucks. You can use it anywhere, whether or not you have wireless or not. Um, and I have purchased some resources. What are some of those resources? The ESV Study Bible Notes. The um, Reformation Study Bible Notes. I have those in Logos because I use those so much and so often that I thought that it was worth my time because all I have to do is click. Doot. I click on the little button and it opens up the commentary. It opens up the maps and it makes my study time way more efficient. Um, and I can do it anywhere and I can refer to those things. And so that's why uh, my iPad is my number one used everyday carry Bible. 
Um, yes, I have blinged out my iPad because you know what? It helps me remember important things. Um, and it helps me remember who I am and that it is finished, right? That that's who we are as Christians. It's, it's finished. It doesn't matter what Bible you have. As long as it's a solid translation, it matters that you're reading it and spending time in it. It's something we can all be doing more of. I don't care how much time you're spending in your Bible. We could all be doing a little bit more reading and praying through scripture, right? So I hope this video has been helpful. I'd love to hear from you down in your comments. What are your top five? What are your top four? If you only have two Bibles, what are the two that you use? Let me know. Everybody gives me the thumbs up, which I love. Please continue to do that. It lets me know that you're watching these videos and it's solid information. But I want to know down in the comments, what are the Bibles that you read? What are the Bibles that you carry around with you every day that you use in church, that you take in your car, that whatever the case may be is, what are they and why? Why do you do that? I want to hear from you because maybe there's a couple of Bibles out there I haven't heard from and we could all benefit from learning together. Hey, thank you so much for hanging in there with me today during this kind of fun uh, little talk on what my top five Bibles are that I use. Um, if you have any questions, as always, uh, please do me a favor and leave them down in the comments and I will do my best to answer them with the information that I have. Just as a reminder, all the Bibles I talked about today, I'll drop descript both links to the full review on those Bibles down in the description and links to purchase if you're interested in purchasing those as well. Hey, don't forget, my friends, be the Christians you claim to be.